Today, we're going to show you a procedure that involves working on sensitive electronics inside the machine control. This procedure should only be performed by a Haas factory outlet technician. In this service video, we're talking about battery replacement. This is the battery that keeps all your control files backed up, so it's important. So, let's switch this battery out. Orville's going to show us how it's done. First, you need to order the replacement battery kit. Since the backup board in the kit has two batteries mounted to the board, there's constant power backing up the machine's data during replacement, so you won't lose anything. To do this job, you're going to need a pair of wire cutters and an ESD strap. Before getting started, it's very important to back up your files on a USB stick. Insert your USB stick. Press List Program. Press Cancel. Press the right cursor button to tab over to the USB device. Press right enter to select the USB device. Press F4 and you'll get the menu. Use the down cursor to highlight the tab that says Save All Backup. A file name is required to save the backup files. Then press right enter to save the files to the USB. Power down the machine and turn the main breaker off. Don't start working until you've seen that the LED on the vector drive goes dark. Since we'll be working in the control cabinet, the necessary safety precautions need to be followed. To get started, clean an area on the inside wall of the control for the Velcro. Remove the cover for the processor. When you pull the covers off, you might find a stack of boards, or you might find just one board. Just remember, the battery is always on the bottom board in the stack. If you're not comfortable removing these boards, contact your local HFO. Now open the kit and remove the dual battery PCB from the package. Peel the protective plastic from the Velcro strap. Install the battery backup PCB on the wall beside the processor. Route the cable through the cable channel and connect it to P1 on the main con processor. The new batteries are now supplying power to the processor. Carefully cut the old battery leads and zip ties with wire cutters. Discard the old battery. Power up the machine, check that the alarm message is gone. Now you're ready to resume production. You need to order the replacement battery kit. If you don't have one, click on the link here to get it.